amidst ongoing diplomatic spat between India and Canada over a claim that Indian agents were involved in the killing of Sikh separatist leader Hardeep Singh Nijar. The spokesperson for the Chinese Foreign Ministry, Mao Ning, has urged Canada to respect facts and truth and stop peddling China-related lies. She's further said that such lies could contribute to further damaging relations between two countries. This was said in response to Canada's Foreign Minister Melanie Jolly, wherein Jolly had claimed that an organization connected to China was spreading fake information related to Justin Trudeau through comments and deep fake videos. Colonel J.S. Sodi, international affairs expert, is joining us live. Colonel Sodi, we're learning that uh, China has now also weighed in on this controversy. Your first reaction. Jayan Uday, it's my honor to be on a news channel. It is indeed hilarious now that Canada is leveling allegations on every country in the world on anything which is happening in Canada. Earlier, they leveled false and baseless allegations on India over Nijar's killing, which was actually a gang war on the Canadian soil. And now they have straight away blamed China for peddling fake lies uh, uh, against Justin Trudeau. It clearly shows today that Justin Trudeau's government is totally rattled because they are certain of losing the next general elections of Canada, which are in uh, to be held in October 2025. And now he's trying to make lost ground by putting false allegations, be it on India, be it on China, so as to garner public sympathy so that when the time comes for the polls, you know, he thinks that he can uh, gain victory. Well, that isn't going to happen. Because apart from the political damage that Justin Trudeau is doing to himself, he's also ruining Canada's image internationally. It is high time that Justin Trudeau and his government stop leveling false allegations, be it on India, China or any other country in the world. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.